Hey there. Listening to a little dead prez. Getting myself pumped up to go to the gym. They are like the best ever. Like I really, really dig them a lot. Um, in fact, I have an interview with M1 that I'm probably going to upload at some point. Um, I just haven't taken the time to edit it. I've just, I just haven't had time. But um, today, I got up early. Today was a trip. Okay, let me explain. I woke up this morning at 8 a.m., hopped in the shower, made my bed, put away some laundry, called the nail salon for an appointment. Actually, right before I reached for my phone to call the salon, my phone rang. And when I answered the phone, when I looked at the phone, it was my love. It's like all these years later, just seeing his name on my phone gives me butterflies. It makes me smile just thinking of him. But. Today was one of those days where I saw his name and I kind of froze for a second because I just knew that he was trying to come over. Um, so I answered the phone. He sounded like he was still in bed. And he said that he was just calling to wake me up because he hadn't done that in a while. And then he realized that I was up and about and he asked me if I was home. Because <laughs> of course, you know, his slutty little girlfriend, he knows that I could be anywhere. Um, told him I was. And he just got kind of quiet, so I started talking and um, started telling him about some of my most recent conquests and my new toys, my Oh My Bod vibrator, and my Enjoy Fun Wand, and how the Fun Wand and my new clitoral stimulator made me squirt <laughs> all over the couch one night. And um, I was just rambling, just filling space, as I do sometimes. And I mentioned that I had a scene today. And um, he interrupted me and he said, well, what time is your scene? So I told him, and he said, well, what time are you leaving the house? And I told him, and he goes, and he got quiet and said, okay, I'm going to call you right back. And he hung up. And my heart just stopped because I knew he wanted to come over. <sighs> We've been so off lately. Like, he's been traveling. I've been working, and it's like, last week he called me from my driveway, but I was 35 minutes away in the valley going to cash checks and see my agent and go to AIM to get tested, and so this makes twice in a row that I haven't been home. And I miss him so much. I give him no idea. He actually told me that once, a long time ago, he told me that he knows that when I'm that when I'm with other men, 
I'm searching for the feeling that I get when I'm with him. And he's right. Like everyone else is just filling space. They're just icing. It's like, I love him so much. And I can only hope to recreate a sensation, a physical reaction that reminds me of him. Like, no one can really make me feel that way. I mean, there's been two men in my life other than him that have made me feel that way. Not even my ex-husband made me feel that way. It's just something else. It's like, he told me once that he knows when I'm with other people, I just give them my body. But when I'm with him, I give him my heart. And he's right. It's like he enters my vagina and goes and aims straight for my heart. It's not really the sex, it's something else. It's, I can feel it even when he's away. Hmm. So I started my day disappointed and then had to go and get it together. I had to shake it off and say, okay, back to work. So, I went and got my nails, my nails done. Went to, came home, packed a bag, hopped in a car, and went to work. Um, Alexander's was the guy that I was working with today. Jewel was amazing. She let us just, it was quick, fast. I was really horny because I, the anticipation of what I missed with my love made the scene that much sweeter because it gave me something to drive for. And he, um, Alex and I just did what we wanted to do and the scene was amazing. We, I was just, every, my mouth just turned into a faucet and there was just saliva everywhere. And at one point I was upside down on the chair, on the, like a little night, little, little ottoman type seat. I was upside down with my head hanging off the back and Alex had me, um, was face fucking me. And the spit from my mouth was just coming out of my mouth and pouring into my eyes and down my face. It was a beautiful mess. It was great. Um, but yeah, it was hot. Um, Jewel said that it was it was a great blowjob scene. She said that she it was the best scene ever, which is very encouraging. Um, and when when he came, he came in my on my face the same way, and a lot. Like I couldn't open my eyes for a while. I couldn't open my eyes from the spit in my mouth, let alone from you know once he busted a nut. It was encouraging. <laughs> and when I came home, I stopped by AIM, picked up my test that I never picked up last week. And um, chilled for a while. I don't know. It was a nice chill day. Now I've got to go downstairs and um, go run for an hour, plus do my hour workout. <laughs>